going on YouTube, Minecraft Go here. Today I'll be showing you how to install World Edit and World Guard. This is not how to use it, but check my next video that will be uploaded and it'll show you how to use it. Uh, so if you go to the first link in the description, you'll be brought into this uh, forums.bucket.org page. Uh, this plugin, both of these plugins are made by SK89Q and uh, the first one is World Edit again. So just scroll down and click this world edit 4.6 or whatever it changes to in the future click it and then click this so now it is going to download it a folder close out of this minimize this because you might need it later so open this up and then open up your bucket server and then click the plugins in the world edit dash 4 or the dash 4 could change in the future there, all you want to drag in is craft scripts, the folder, and world edit, the jar file. Alright, so close out, of th close out of that. Now, if we, uh... <coughs> Alright, so, n make sure world edit dot jar is not in craft scripts like this. You don't want that. You do not, not it'll, or else it won't work at all. Just leave it like this. But now, if you start your server, you should get a world edit folder but you can do this the same you can do this like me if you want right click open with other and I'm doing this since I have a power PC and you need the latest Java version long story short Apple sucks with power PCs alright core services archive utility and again that was system with a little X on it from your hard drive library core services with the, again, has the X on it. Archive Utility. Click Open. Open. And now you'll get this World Edit folder. So to, all you have to do is rename um, uh, your world uh, plugin dot YML to your world name dot YML. So if my world name was one two three, I'll name this to one two three dot YML. But if, since mine's world, I'm gonna keep that world dot YML. And defaults config, but I believe if you start your server, it's just config and uh, something else. So yeah, just look around for that. There shouldn't be any folders. I'm not. I don't remember exactly. So, yeah, minim uh, all right. So now we're back in our plugins folder. And make sure you'll have. It should look like this. So none of them are in each other. All right, not one. Let's drag this off to the side. Now if we go to the second link in the description. We're going to be brought into this uh, world guard page. Uh, again, it's forms.bucket.org, made by SQ89, SK89Q. Just scroll down and download. So, yes. Alright. Minimize this for later if you do need. And you can trash world edit, since there's nothing in it. Alright, so, in world guard, just uh, you're going to drag uh, world guard, or in world guard-5, you're going you're going to drag world guard.jarin. Now, if you start your server, um, new folder. Sorry, I have to do this. Like, don't do this. Just start your server, and you'll get everything. Um, yes, yeah, so you, you'll get this config.yml and worlds, and uh, and this should be your world name. So you can have multiple worlds with different kind of all that stuff. Um. So it's worlds, world, all right. And here you got the config for that, but if you open this, you don't need to uh, worry about that at all. So we're just going to go to the config.yml. All right. So um, this is where you want what you want to focus on, and I believe the config.yml, yeah, it's right above world. So um. I'll go over everything. Iconomy, do, all right, well, not everything, but protection. Uh, no, okay. Chest protection, I usually keep, uh, I make that true usually. Physics, allow portal anywhere. Uh, no physics sand, which means d if you place sand in air, will it fall? Same with gravel. Ignition, block TNT, block lighter, true or false. So if, uh, if someone detonates TNT, it will, it will not blow up. Uh, regions, max uh, region count per player, 
You, you can change that to whatever you want. <coughs> claim only inside existing regions, false. Um, max uh, claim volume, 30,000. That's basically how uh, how much if you how much blocks are in each region. That's like the max. High frequency flags. I don't know what that is. Um, enable. I usually keep the, that. I didn't really change any of these. And wand is 287. I believe that either is a. Uh, I can't remember. But yeah. So if you just type, uh, if you type in slash slash wand, I believe, you'll get that. So here is what your the world edit is famous for: fire, disable lava fire spread. If you want to like uh, disable, I just like when lava usually hits wood, it'll start fires. So I disabled that. Um, disable all fire spread. I usually make that true. A uh, weather always raining false. Um, yes, there's that. Ops permissions through player damage. So this is where you really want to focus on. Te uh, teleport on void falling. I keep that false because if they fell down to the like basically if you fall down below uh, bedrock, that is the void. Disable drowning damage. Uh, uh, so if they drown, if they go underwater and they start drowning, will they take any damage? Yes or no? Or true or false? Mob damage so mobs can't hurt them. Explosion damage like TNT or creepers disable void damage I wouldn't um, I keep that false because they, if they fall down they'll be stuck there forever unless they do slash spawn or whatever like that disable fall damage false <coughs> or true to say uh, so if they fall down a height and like from 100 blocks will they take any damage or take the or take no damage disable fire damage if they go jump into fire will they take damage from that disable contact damage I believe that is with a cactus so if they hit a cactus will they get hurt disable suffocation that's basically the same as drowning but you want to make probably make those the same so if you make drowning true you want to make this uh, suffocation true or else it might get a little glitchy Dis disable lightning damage if they're struck by lightning somehow should they take damage teleport on suffocation if they drown shouldn't I just kept that false um, and that's basically it for the config. Uh, if you have any questions about this, uh, let me know in the comments. Again, I'm uh, right, probably right after this video, I'll be making how to use these in an actual server. Um, thank you for watching YouTube. Peace.